welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be surprising my family with first class flights to New York. is the part that I didn't actually tell my mum and Asuka's on Christmas day. So if you haven't already seen, on Christmas day I actually surprised my mum and Asuka's with a trip to New York. It was literally, I think exactly a month ago that I surprised them with it. And they're coming up to my house today, we actually fly tomorrow morning. But I left out one little part that we're actually gonna be flying first class. I didn't wanna tell them on Christmas day because I feel like New York as a whole was like an amazing gift anyway. And I wanted them to kind of just like let it sink in that we're all going to New York. But I did in fact book a first class class flight and honestly my mum and Atticus are not going to believe it when I tell them and I thought it would just be more fun and make it more exciting for them if I tell them the night before we leave. So I have this golden envelope here which I'm going to give my mum and Atticus when they arrive and inside it just has this little boarding pass that I've made and it says Anastasia Julian Atticus first class from Manchester to New York JFK and I just put a little picture of the Statue of Liberty on it. So I'm going to put this in here and then when my mum and Atticus arrive which is probably going to be they said an hour and a half that means in their time three hours. Hours, uh, I'm gonna give them this and they can just get more excited basically. This vlog is actually gonna be the first of many New York vlogs, so I hope you guys are looking forward to the New York content. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. For my first vlog, I want to get a thumbnail like you and Atticus coming up to visit. Oh, okay. So just stand there and smile. Oh, you look pretty. Put your arms up as well and then maybe act shocked. <laughs> shocked that we're here. <laughs> yeah, they've <maybe laughs> never been here before. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I have actually got something. There you go. <laughs> What are you doing? Do you know what he said to me on the way up? He said, I hope she had surprises with another holiday. Let mummy look. Let's both look together, shall we? <gasps> oh god, what is it? I've already looked. Oh god, what is it? First class. <laughs> We've each got a bed on the plane. Shut up. Yeah, we've got Shut a bed. Up. And then tomorrow, that's why I wanted to leave at the time we leave because we're going into like the lounges and Shut stuff. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, we need to choose our meals and stuff tonight. That's why I had to tell you because we have like three course meals on the plane. We've got a bed. Yeah, we have a bed. Anna. Are we all like sat Thank like you so together? Much. Yeah, we're all sat together. Well, they, so like they, you have like a little pod, don't you? So like yeah, we yeah, need to have a pod. Yeah. But you can obviously have the door open. And you, like... you, you and Atticus are next to each other. Then I've got like the window one. So like we're all in a row. I'll show you it. I'll show yeah, you a picture yeah, in a minute. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh my god! Yes. Unbelievable! I'm so excited. There's me. I've been like thinking all the time we're at the back and it's going to be bump and bump and bump. Well, you ordered sick bags, and as soon as you said you ordered yeah. sick bags, I was like, oh god, why has she done that? We're not even at the back of the plane. Yeah, but I thought we were. <laughs> Well, no. What's it, what is it like at the back of a plane? Have you never sat at the back of a plane before? Never. And it says you feel every bit. That's what I said to you on the phone the other night. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I was—I didn't want to tell you that I'd booked first class on Christmas Day because I thought no, I'd leave no, it until no. the night what before. What are you saying, Bubs? Incredible. <laughs> so we get to go to all the lounges tomorrow it's morning. Funny, I and... said to <laughs> oh. I did because I kept thinking about the turbulence. Well, yeah, we might not feel it, but yeah, we get a bed and TV, and you get a three course meal, and, wow. and we get to go in the lounge before. Yeah, to go in the airport. lounge before, yeah, and we fly in first class home as well. So when we're in New York, we can use the lounge. It's both ways. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh my god! Do Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Love you. We're going to Love New you York. <laughs> Leave it. I know, I'm so excited. This is a little close up of the boarding pass. Are you going to keep this, Atticus? Definitely. You should keep it. You should stick it in a little I scrapbook or something. I cannot believe that I actually had a feeling you were going to do something to our seats. Because I was a bit like, oh, about sitting at the back of the plane. Basically, we need to explain. Atticus gets really like plane sick. Like when we went to Florida, he was throwing up on the plane. And so mum ordered these like special sick bags because I told them that we were sat on like the Each very like back about row. Three bits of sick in it. Yes, they were like huge sick bags. And mum was saying to me for like, ages like oh god like your brother's gonna be so sick on the plane like this isn't gonna be good blah blah, blah. so i've ordered special sick bags and i was laughing in my head i was like oh god like, i don't know why she's ordered them because obviously i knew for a full fact we weren't sitting at the back of the plane but um yeah we're sitting at the front of the plane you were gonna look so cool are you wearing your hoodie that i bought you for christmas tomorrow to the airport no we're wearing this oh you've got an airport outfit planned it's very nice Go on, you can do the dance. Go on, do, do the New York dance. She's got the jockey bottoms. Do the dance. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's your airport outfit? Have you got something that says New York? It? Have you got something that says New York? It doesn't say New York, but it says something that's relevant. But what then? Oh, they're nice. Right, with this top, and then on it, actually, I have to remind myself what it says. City of... City to city. City to city. Move with style. Authentic lifestyle. Nice. Where's that from? Both from H&M. Oh, lovely. You're nice and comfy. Yeah, nice airport fit. So I've now surprised them with the fact that we are going first class. I am I honestly buzzing. It. I'm just about to. Sh you definitely didn't know. I thought there was going to be something. What you were going to change? I'm but just about to show them videos of Virgin Atlantic business, so I can show them what it's going to be like tomorrow. But this? yeah, I am so excited. I'm so happy I they know I now. I have honestly been trying to keep it in for so long, and you like the urge to tell them. And like Nicole and Saf and Wendy were saying to me that I should tell them at the gate like as we were about to check in i should Anna, be like oh I no we go to a different check-in and i sent what? you that thing the other day of uh, there i said it saying about economy i know i know you did but yes yeah, so and i said this will be me when we land i know so but wendy so wendy saf and nicole said to me like wait until you get to the airport and tell them oh, and I, I told them yeah they all knew and i was talking to them about it and they were like why don't you wait until you get to check in and then be like oh no actually we could check in over here and then be like first class but i was like no because no, i'm glad you told me and i'll tell you what because i can look that's what I thought. I, was like, I, I, I feel yes. like the build up of yeah. like looking forward yes. to it Definitely. tonight will be like really nice. Yes. That's what I told you. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't what? believe it. I'm so excited. It's a little bit later and not only am I doing a Galentine's gift swap with Saf this year, I'm actually also doing one with mum. So we're about to film that. I'm really excited. These two bags are my presents from mum and then all of these are my presents to mum. So that will be up at some point in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, we're going to film this and then we're going to order some dinner. How cute does all this look? I feel like I've been spoiled for Valentine's Day this year. We've just finished filming. How cute is this? The little dessert shop have sent us some dessert. It says, hey Anastasia, happy Valentine's. I hope you're surrounded by love and sweetness on this special day. Enjoy this Valentine's edition of our iconic trio box and just wait until you see this <gasps> how amazing does this look we've got some strawberries some brownies which Atticus is gonna love some waffles we've got these like strawberry heart things I don't really know what they are but they've got like jam in and then we've got three different dips we've got milk hazelnut chocolate white chocolate and milk chocolate so we have actually just ordered a pre New York Chinese so I'm gonna get in the shower wash my hair have a Chinese and then we can sit and try some of this please ignore how crazy my hair looks I don't want to brush it out till morning but I have I had a shower of moisture dries i've washed all my hair and i've put my extensions in and it is time to try some dessert i cannot wait i've just checked us all in as well so we don't have to do it at the airport tomorrow so for like now i've got pretty much everything that i can do done it's time for food what do i try i think i'm gonna have some of the white chocolate oh my god oh my god that's so cute mum look they've dyed the white chocolate sauce pink valentine's and i'm gonna dip a strawberry in it oh it's thick do you want a strawberry atticus no can i tr what sort of brownie is it mm. What sort of brownie I'm going to get up at four. Chocolate brownie. Just normal. God. That is oh, so it's, yummy. Oh no, there's more one with one units now. Oh, there's a hazelnut one. This is like Kinder Bueno. Oh my gosh, I could eat this whole thing. This is the best pre-New York treat ever. I'm just want some brownies for Rachel. What time are you getting up? Yeah. What time am I getting up? I'm getting up. Announce when that we've You get up when? Now four. Four? Six. I'm not getting up at four. I'm getting up at seven. I'm getting up at quarter past four. Why? You don't need to get up at that time. I might get up at five. No, I'm going to get up at five. Mum, you need to try one of these brownies. Yeah, I'm gonna have some in here. Just making sure everything's in this handbag. This handbag mm. is got everything. I'm going to bed now. I'll see you guys in the morning. Not at quarter past four like this mad lot. I'm gonna get another seven. Good morning, everyone. I am just adding the final things to my case. It is currently ten past seven, and I've just packed. Just realised this isn't even going in my suitcase. This is going in my carry-on. Never mind. We're just packing the final things now. But I actually didn't pack any of my carry-on before this morning, so there's not really much that needs to go in it. I've just got some period pads in there just in case i come on i've got a passport my charger some camera. sunglasses <laughs> a camera oh yeah hang on let me show you this i am actually going to be giving atticus a camera for this like traveling vlog and he is going to vlog when we're on the plane and then i'm going to put it in here so atticus has got his whole little own section of this vlog haven't you you excited again okay, you need to pack it mum and atticus's suitcase is huge they are actually sharing a suitcase which to be honest is probably going to work out better just because the hotel rooms in new york like no matter how much you pay they're just tiny because obviously you're in the middle of a city so they're sharing that suitcase i've got my big suitcase and then we're actually taking one spare suitcase for shopping which i don't know if that's really unnecessary but we said like we've got a spare suitcase to check in so we might as well take it just in case we're like overweight or we need to put something in it for whatever reason but it's mainly for shopping we are about to leave for new york it is eight in the morning we've got all of our suitcases and bags packed you excited very thank you atticus you look very new york ready with the big <laughs> coat on we have all checked in and we have made it to the lounge this breakfast spread is incredible. You can order loads of hot food as well, but Atticus first of all wants to get some panna 
chocolates for, as he's saying, his first course. They also have a ton of hot food. They have beans, tomatoes, scrambled egg, potatoes, sausages, bacon. Oh my god, this is amazing. I am aware you've probably seen way more appetizing breakfasts than this, but I got some scrambled egg, beans, and some hash browns. And they also have these little like honey, granola, and yogurt pots as well. What have you got, mister? <laughs> Is it nice? Scrambled eggs really nice, isn't it? <laughs> Look at all of the alcohol they have. I really wish it wasn't so early right now because if it wasn't, I would love a vodka lemonade. But how is all of this included? Like <laughs> you could get very drunk before you flight in here. Mum's helping herself. Mum, what have you got? I've got a plate of different pastries. Coffee. Of course. Water and one of them. She said she's those pastries are lovely. She said she's going to have a flat white. I know we're going to eat loads on the plane as well. You don't know what? I know we're going to eat loads on the plane. I know, my stomach feels full already from the amount of what I've had already. Mum's going to have a latte cappuccino and a flat white. That's a flat white. I have finished all of my breakfast and we're just waiting for Mum to come back and then we are going to head and board the plane. I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited to see Mum and Atticus be excited, if that makes sense. Like, I'm excited for them. We're just waiting to board and a lovely flight attendant just come round and gave all the children this cute little activity pack. So that's going to keep you well busy. Oh look, you've got a nice little bag. What's that? What's that? What is it though? I don't know. Oh my god, you've got flight socks. Stop it. Yeah, because they say when you're on a long flight... You're meant to wear... You're meant to wear to keep the blood going around in your legs. They're really cool socks, actually. Yeah, like little trainers. You're gonna put them on on the flight. Yeah. On the flight. And then what's in your activity book? Yeah, I know. There's what? Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, you like that? Oh, you like that? Yeah. Is that an eye mask? Yeah, you got an eye mask. Oh, sweetheart. You're gonna lay there with them socks on your eye mask. That's really cool. That little activity book's cute as well. I see what's in there. Oh, wow. It's a good one. Did you bring your New York journal? Yeah, it's got that in there. Yay. We've just boarded the plane and we've got our seats. We've actually all got like seats next to each other, which is really nice because I was scared that I didn't get seats next to them. But how are you liking it, Mum? Love it. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Atticus, you happy? Your seat is very cool. Oh, is it a nice pillow? Oh, oh yeah, nice pillow for when we want to go sleep. Here is my little area. We've got some water there. We've got a TV. And then I think we've got some little shelf bits here. So our headphones over there. This is so nice. And look at the pillow. Oh, my God. It's an actual, like, bed pillow. These are what they actually look like from a bit further away. Oh, my God. They're so nice. I literally cannot believe I'm here right now with Mum and Atticus. <laughs> Mum's getting a vlog in. What are you looking at? Are you looking outside the window? I don't what? have a window. Yeah, you do. It's there. Oh. You can see there. <laughs> Look at Atticus. Look at Mum posing for the thumbnail. What's it say? Lost connections. <laughs> A good mum, mum. Yeah. Look at mum's bookmark for her book. It just says a bookmark. And it, I thought, I was like, is that Atticus sticking out of her book? I've got a Before we take off, I'm just looking at the menu. So for starters, we've either got chicken parfait, which I've never tried before actually, and textures of beetroot with a goat cheese mousse. So I think I'm going to go for the chicken parfait because I'm not going to lie, I don't know what that is at all. And then for mains, we've got chicken and wild mushroom pie with mash or miso and sesame crusted salmon with sweet potato puree. I am definitely going to get that one. Or you can have a vegetable korma and then for dessert an indulgent black forest gatto with a vanilla ice cream which sounds amazing or warm sweet brioche bread and butter pudding and then oh or you can get cheese plate actually as well that sounds so good this is what i'm most excited for the cream tea <gasps> oh my gosh gourmet fish goujons hot sandwich chicken caesar club sandwich <gasps> served with salted crisp okay i'm not gonna lie i'm looking forward to this more we're just about to take about 10 to 5 minutes I'll just show you everyone. So this is my seat. This is Orlando. We went there in April last year. Hello. Hi. I can see you. Edinburgh, that's where we want to go. Okay, it is food time. I have got my chicken to begin with, and then I've also got here my bread roll. How cute is this? It's like a full on baguette. The camera is so close to me right now, but let's give this a go. I've never tried this before. I don't really know what it is. I think it's pate, but yeah, never tried it before. So, first time for everything. We have olives. Mmm, so good. Mm, that's pretty good. Yep. 
coming. Our main is out and I got salmon. How amazing does this look? Salmon is one of my favorite foods. So let's give it a try. Wow, this is good. Okay, it is my last course and I have got dessert. This is a black forest gatto. This looks so good. Taste test. This is the best course yet. We have now made our seats into beds. Atticus is next to me and the flight attendant is so lovely. Honestly, the nicest flight attendant I think I've ever had. But yeah, I'm now gonna snuggle up in here. They gave me an extra pillow and I'm gonna sit and watch the hangover. Atticus, look at that. Look at that. He is living the life. That must feel lovely actually. You don't need your belt on when you're in bed, darling. Night. What are you watching? What is it? He's got the destination map on the corner. Oh, are you watching the map? You're not talking to me now. Oh, am I getting ignored? Oh, how long have we got there? Oh, we've not got long left till we actually get to the mainland United States. How long? An hour and a half. No, we haven't. That's such no, a lie, Atticus. No, but we're like still five hours oh, away. I bought a gorilla pod so I can attach my tripod to literally anything, and this is the best thing that I've ever bought. I can literally attach my tripod to the seat. But like I said, I'm now gonna chill for the rest of the flight. I actually got a load of work done, but now I'm gonna watch the hangover and maybe sleep for like three hours because when we land in New York, it's gonna be 3 p.m. and then obviously we've got to get to the hotel check in, and I'm gonna go straight out for food because I want to try and beat the jet lag, even though it's five hours, and I don't think I'll actually be that jet lagged. I want to try and beat it on the first day. Mum just got a notification from someone in seat 60k, which is right at the back of the plane, requesting to seat chat with mum. So she's gonna set it up and see if she can talk to them. She said, put a wink. What did I'm you say? Oh look, <gasps> is this Anna from YouTube? Stop it. Oh my God, how did I figure it out? Hang on. Wait, Hang put, on. no, this is her mum. Put no, this is her mum. Put Anna is nine oh, I'm her mum. Anna's nine, Kelly. Oh, yeah, do you want to chat with him? Go on, say I'm her mum. Stop it, that is hilarious. I'm her mum. Sent it. Guys, they replied. They put, love you both so much. Followed you both for years. Should I put yay? Yeah, go on. No, I want to do it. Put yay. They put yay. Why? No, I know what I'm doing. A Y. Yeah. What are you putting? Yeah, put yay. Yeah, just put yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you trying to do an exclamation mark? That, let go, that's... let go. Oh no, I don't know. Just put yay. Yay. Yay, thank you. God, mum, you're taking a while. Basically, I figured out what happened. So I posted an Instagram story of our passport and you can see our boarding passes in it. Mum's over there, what? With who? Mum fancies the person who's sitting in seat 10A. So I was going to message him and I was like, Mum, please don't because he obviously is going to know that it's us. And of course, he can just look up and look oh, at the God, seat you, numbers. But anyway. Do a chat and put 10A and say. No, I'm not messaging that man. And say, my mum has a question. No, I'm not messaging that man. This is not a dating website. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, you can actually see the um, seat numbers on my Instagram story. So one of you guys is obviously on the plane at the back of the plane and is seat chatting with us and they just messaged mum saying have a lovely time in New York City. So thank you. I hope you too as well. Hello. It's Atticus. We are three hours and 58 minutes. Well, I do not believe that because we are nearly at mainland United States. So I do not believe that one there. I think whoever's done it, a bit silly. Shall I show you the other two? Here's that. <laughs> Mommy. Right, I'm laughing about it now because it is funny now we're looking back on it. We just had the worst turbulence I've ever had in my life. Import the picture of mum here. Mum started crying. Atticus was completely fine, but everyone just shot up. And there's these two women down there. I mean, we're just getting trouble like, oh my god, oh my god. And then mum, out of all things, goes to me, Anna, do something. I'm like, what am I going to do when I'm sat here? But it was really, really bad. I don't, I'm not laughing about it, but that genuinely was. The worst time I've ever had. Mum, are you alright now? I've lost my reading glasses. Oh, I've lost my glasses. <laughs> We have just checked in. Our hotel room is so cute. So it's very small, but all the hotel rooms in New York are very small. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do about our suitcases yet, but we've got two double beds. This one is my one. And then Mum and Atticus are staying in that one over there. And then we've got a TV on the wall. And then the bathroom is so cute. Mum loves it. It's very like New York sort of vibe. And the shower down here says deep end, which is really cool. I love it, it's so nice. So the flight, let me do a little story time about what happened 
second on the flight so I didn't vlog it because to be honest I was in too much of a panic <laughs> to turn my camera on um, and in hindsight looking back I kind of wish I did I got one little clip of mum at the end which was like four seconds long so I will pop that in here Um, that was mum crying because the turbulence was so bad. No, and the thing no, is, no, Anna, Anna, I weren't crying. I had tears in my eyes. Anyway, um, I've experienced really bad turbulence before. When we were coming back from Australia, like on the long 14 hour flight, we had really bad turbulence and I was sat right at the back of the plane where you apparently feel turbulence more and the turbulence was so bad that everyone was screaming like at the back of the plane and I was sat on my own and then Jazz and Sophie were like in the middle and Byron and Haz were like somewhere towards, I don't know, the front section. And I was just literally, I looked over at Jazz and Sophie and I was like, oh my, like this is actually the end. That was like the process that went through my brain. Anyway, obviously I was fine and then and after that I googled that turbulence is actually quite safe because you're in like an air pocket and you're in like you're in, essentially in like a jelly sort of thing so you're not obviously going to fall out the sky that's been me being silly but anyway Anna, Anna tell them that the plane did no so basically today we it was going really really smooth like the flight was going amazing and then the captain just kind of said over the speaker he was like can everyone please put their seatbelts on because we're going to be experiencing turbulence and at that point the air hostesses and everything didn't have to sit down so it was we were just like oh okay it's just gonna be turbulence and all of a sudden we just kind of like dropped but it wasn't like a little drop it was like we fully just like dropped in the sky and it was I've never in my life that like, everyone just shot up because everyone was laying down everyone shot up and was looking at each other and it was just awful and then they come over the tunnel and they were like can all the flight attendants please take their seats because it's gonna be bad turbulence for the next 30 minutes and I've never heard them like say to the flight attendants that they need to sit down before so I was like oh my god like, this is gonna be bad and Atticus was completely Completely fine. I've, he was I, such a I great honestly boy, thought, you, darling? I he, thought he was going to really, you know. He was amazing. He was amazing. He literally just laid there the whole time and looked up at the ceiling and just did not make a sound. Like, we both were holding his hand, like, over the things. And then, next thing you know, like, it kind of settled down for, like, 10, 15 minutes. And we were talking to, like, everyone in our row. And we were all saying, like, God, we hope this stops soon. And then, literally, out of absolute nowhere, the full plane just tipped, like, on its side like because the windows were open so you could see like how the light changed and we just went like that and then we kind of like dropped again and then it just basically the plane lost control for like a couple of seconds and it was yeah it was horrendous like you i mean you can see by the pictures in the video that i have of mum that was what was left of it and then the best part of it was mum goes anna i can't do this i can't what did you say no anna i can't do this or like anna we can't do this no or, i said i just sat there and all my all my brain i'm normally a very calm person i'm a very very, you know, in that moment when the plane is tipping, I'm laughing. The plane about it, is just like that's it. it we done. But then, mum, and you said something like, "I said my automatic reaction. I'm not having this. No, yeah. I'm not having yeah, this. but that's it. Mum's answer. And I'm not having this. And I was thinking, what is stuff that we can do? Like it's turbulence. And then she goes. <laughs> And as we're dropping, she goes, Anna, do something, Anna, do something. And I just turned around and went, what can I do? I, like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. It and dropped, it, the, plane, the plane dropped. I don't know, yeah, it, it dropped. And then one of the um, people in our row come over to mum after and said, that was the best thing that I've heard on the whole flight, that you but said, Anna, bit, do something. Because what am I going to do? The crew were lovely, right? But the plane is really bad. It was shaking. I mean, I mean, really shaking. I've had mild turbulence and that's nothing. It was bad. But the man still comes around and asks if I wanted a drink. Oh, and yeah. I said, I'll have one when it's finished. Finished. And he just went, finished. okay, okay. Beer was really bad. I mean, it, it was, was, it it was, was horrendous. I thought, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought the <laughs> They said, I mean, the, we I were did. speaking to one of the flight attendants and they said that everyone who was sat like right on the back row were apparently crying, were crying, crying like everyone. Crying. Yeah, because it was that bad. So anyway, the pilot was amazing for getting us through that. And that was definitely the worst turbulence that I've ever experienced. So thank you so much to all the staff for making everyone feel so comfortable because they yeah. were all coming around and checking that everyone was okay. And it was really scary. So thank you so much to all the staff on that plane. <laughs> But we are now checked in, like I said, just gave you guys a little room tour. And I, I don't really know what we're going to do to unpack our stuff, to be honest. I still haven't figured it out, but we're actually going to head you know out You know you've got into... loads of storage under your bed. Oh yeah, okay, so I'll just put it under my bed then. <laughs> we're actually going to go out into Times Square tonight. I think we're going to go to Applebee's or... We're going to give Atticus half hour to Atticus is going to chill for a bit because he's very tired. Um, and then we're going to go, I think, to Applebee's. Maybe it depends what we can find because that's our favourite restaurant. Every time we come to America, we love to go there. And then we've also said, because we want to eat in some like nice restaurants while we're here, but obviously we want to try mcdonald's i feel we like we have to because it's their first time in new york so we're going to try uh, mcdonald's tonight as well so then that's done and then we've got a shopping suitcase haven't we oh yeah so we bought a full empty
empty suitcase for shopping because mum's suitcase was slightly over and mine no, wasn't mine weren't over. yours was 23.9 what did we have 23, 23. yeah um. but mine was like 13 but it's just full because i've took like loads of coats so yeah we bought a completely empty suitcase that you put a hat and a scarf in it um and that one's for shopping so yeah i'm excited but when we were driving into the city like i've been to new york twice before and i don't ever remember it feeling like that like it just felt humongous like we were looking up like wow like it is it is just incredible um so yeah i will let you guys know when we are headed out we're gonna go to times square we have made it to times square guys i feel like everyone's just a bit overwhelmed right now i think i just forgot how insane it feels to stand here this place is oh i just yeah speechless first impressions of times square everything you expect but a hundred times more it's just speech speechless yeah. We have just spotted our restaurant for the evening. We are going to Applebee's and I could not be more ready for this. I'm so hungry to get a grilled cheese. And it's all coming back to me now. I remember when I came here with Saf, we came down this street because our hotel was the street over and we came and ate in Applebee's. I don't know, crazy that we're here six years on. Yay, we're here. The menu looks so good, even though I do know I am going to go for a grilled cheese, which I actually cannot find on the menu. So I really hope they still do it. What are you going for, Mum? I'm going to go for the classic grilled cheese cheese i'm so tired um i've been at six for 20 hours is it 21 hours 21 now? hours 21 hours and counting it's always the same it's always the same isn't it we have just found out the most heartbreaking news and like i just said the grilled oh, cheese no, wasn't on the menu that, no. but it's not sandwich. yeah but it's not a grilled cheese we basically said can we have two grilled cheeses and they're not on the menu anymore he said it was seasonal so the tradition has gone i'm thinking i'm gonna get the french onion soup yeah, though that makes it time to switch it up. i know we're switching it up this year guys remember we went through the but it'll be the same menu everywhere, so no grilled cheese anymore. This is the new Don't tradition, because when we were in Florida in April, I got French onion soup and mum got soup, so this is the new grilled cheese. Nice French onion natural. soup and chips, and mum got... Cheesy broccoli. That cheesy broccoli looks nice. Yeah, it does. Can I try a little bit of that? Yeah. That's really good. And tomato soup, and then Atticus got the classic chicken and chips. Atticus has got his food boxed up, ready to take back to the hotel. It was really good, wasn't it? Did you enjoy it? Good, we are now gonna head back. I am so tired, like beyond tired. It is, I think, nine o'clock. So back home, it's two in the morning now. I know, so we are gonna head to bed. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed Atticus's vlogging as well. You did vlog on the plane, didn't you? Yeah. Mummy stole your camera? It's on the plane still. What do you mean? That's my camera. What do you mean it's on the plane still? You just took it off the plane. Well, no, it's not It's not going to be on a plane still. Mummy would have took it, surely. We didn't leave a camera on the plane. Anyway, we love you all so much. And we will see you very soon for a brand new New York vlog. Day one. Day one. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>